Will playing solo music from Dennis DeYoung scare away trick-or-treaters? My name is Sean Morrison. Yes, it is something interesting. A, a house playing solo songs from Dennis DeYoung. Could be from the 26th East Volume 1 album. Could be songs like To The Good Old Days or um, Promised Land, You My Love. Anything, or the other songs from his other solo albums that are considered um, Barry Manilow type ballads. You know, a house could have it on full blast because maybe, maybe the house is playing the music because they're not participating in trick or treating, and people keep ringing the doorbells, especially when they know candy sign up. So they figure just play this music from Dennis the Young, and maybe the people will get the hint that they're not giving it, giving out candy, or they, or they ran the candy, and then the people will stop annoying them and ring the doorbells. You know, when you see a sign that says, you know, no candy, it means. No candy, move to the next house. You know, that's the way it is. So, by playing some music for Founding Six member Dennis DeYoung, like a lot of the Barry Manilow solo slow songs and everything, you might give trick or treaters the hint, or actually the parents first, that this isn't a house to pick up Halloween candy at. Don't forget to subscribe to the Show Morrison YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Don't be the laugh. Those that are already subscribed, I thank you for your support. Those that watch the videos without subscribing, click the subscribe button on, then you'll be notified of when Mr. Morrison and his new Show Morrison videos coming out. And yes, those that won't be giving out candy or ran out of candy for trick-or-treaters, if they constantly ring your doorbell, especially with a sign saying there's no candy, put some of this Dennis the Young music on. Definitely will scare him away. Talk, talk, yada, yada, blah, blah, woof, woof. Shame, shame, shame.